All right, Defender of the Creed Marquee event to earn Paz Vizsla. I'm sure this is only a three-stager. Yep, just like they've always been. Borrowed Maul, the Armor, the Mandalorian, Beskar Armor, Candor Sordo, and Paz. Wow, this is probably like the best squad you could have with Mandalorians. Because, it's funny, because the Mandalorian Beskar Armor, I always thought he kind of sucked. And the only reason I ever worked on him was because of the Razor Crest. But now that I have him, I wouldn't say he's great, but he's not bad under a Mandalorian team. And his Whistling Birds move is pretty solid. So, I'm also thinking Maul, he's... I can't really say he's a good lead. I don't know. I feel like he's the ideal lead, but it always seems kind of crappy. But he's still a decent character, obviously, so that's good. Armor, Armorer, I feel like would be great for anybody. I mean, you start stacking that Beskar armor, that's a pain in the butt. I've, C is the worst GL in my opinion, but I've gone up against teams before that had an Armorer on the squad. Didn't pay attention to the Armorer, killed everyone around him. And the Armorer ended up stacking up to three stacks of the Beskar armor on C, and then C was practically impossible to kill. So, that's a solid option. And I'm thinking with Paz Vizsla, you just use the armorer to keep stacking that crap on him. He's a tank, so that's probably a good option right there. And, uh, Candorous? Candorous is, um, I wouldn't say he's a super good character, but he's good with, like, his multi-hits. So, this is a pretty solid team they're giving you, I would say, at least. This is probably what I would use if I had all these characters beefed up. Um, anyways, the general strategy tips, blah, blah, blah. He generates stats of heat by using his basic. Yeah, cool. Heat, blah, blah, blah. Wow, this is a long story. If you saw the kit reveal and all that, you already know what that's all about. So, let's just get into it. Per usual, they give you five battles. I don't know what the point of that is. It seems kind of pointless because you're going to do this all in, in one shot. Anyways, why do you need five tries? It's kind of dumb. Anyways, why do they always put them in the sixth slot as well? That's weird. Like, they're not... They're not a borrowed character. Technically, these other four are borrowed. So why are they treating the the, the event unit as the borrowed? It's just it's just weird. <laughs> like you got nobody here, but why? Paz should be here. Pause. However you say his name should be here, and no one should be there. Whoops! I didn't mean to click on you. It's so weird. Anyways, let's get it. <sighs> An hour and a half loading. Seriously. Oh. I am excited to announce the arrival of Paz Vizsla to the Hall of Tables. Paz Vizsla is a stalwart warrior clad in resilient Beskar armor and a descendant of a long line of leaders from the esteemed House Vizsla. Jeez, that's a lot of stories. Oh, that's it? <laughs> okay. We're not going to go after him. We're probably going to go after this motherfucker first. What do we want to do? What do these do? Oh, my God. To all enemies? Sure. Sounds good to me. Oh, of course, douchebag over here doesn't take anything. You know, Mr. Giancarlo Esposito. <laughs> there we go. That was good. Now, maybe, I mean, this dick bag, but I don't know. He's got the weird stack stuff, just like, just like, um, oh, there we go. I took him out, though. I was going to say, just like, uh, what's his name? B1. All right, that's not really the right move. We'll do whatever this does. Bink, ooh, nice hit on him. Moff Gideon, gone. Good. This should be simple. Now, these two aren't going to do anything. Stormtrooper and whoever this loser is with him. One, two, ooh, done. I didn't even need three. Oh, nice. That gets a full a full range of attacks, too. I always choose his second move, because it's like a... I always say AoE. I don't know if that's the right word or not, but... A move that attacks everyone. So I always check it, choose his second ability. But it looks like his first ability calls him a mass assist, just like his third ability. It's his, it's his second ability does nothing. It's just him. Anyways, who do we have now? Oh, Bo-Katan. Ugh, this is a much less tiered team. Bo-Katan and Sabine. Ugh, what a downgrade. Oh, well, hopefully. Oh, I see. They're trying to illustrate his Omicron here. His Omicron further enhances his sturdiness, blah, 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 blah. No, for demonstrative purposes, this battle is being simulated as if it was a territory battle game mode. Well, hopefully this goes just as easily as the first tier did. The first tier went great. That's because of Maul lead. Maybe he's better than I thought. But bo I don't know. Never too... Uh, much of a fan of her at least as the lead and sabine she's not terrible but she's not great either it's spellable i don't have any of those buffs so we'll do this one again okay we don't want to go after that broad we want to go after this mother lecker all right maybe do this yeah i feel like this is definitely going to be much harder because uh which was the armor move but yeah i feel like this is definitely going to be much harder 
this round because um maul with his mass assist that definitely made a huge difference this is like we only do one move it's kind of wussy oh here we go as long as he can get charged up to 20 stacks this should be pretty solid what is this armor shred on target enemy until the end of call all oh call all of them all right well let's just do this there we go nice okay that was a better move than i thought Anyways, as long as we can get to 20 stacks of um, Whistling Birds, this, this typically hits pretty hard, so... Gain defense up and taunt Tenacity. Where are you at? Yeah, your, your debuffs ain't that bad. You can hold off. Stop trying to go after this broad. Oh, there we go. Hit him all hard. Hit him hard. Hit him hard. There you go. Nice. He's a little dangerous while he's trying to charge that up because he's still prone to taking hits and everything, but... If he can last and make it up to 20, it's usually a pretty solid hit. It's solid always in Grand Arena. It's awesome. Anyways, and then the usual legacy tier. You can't fucking do it because you need to have a five-star character, and I'm unlocking him at three-star, so that ain't happening. Anyways, if I could, though, this is what you get. You get two Omicrons. You get this, uh, his portrait, just, you know, obviously how you get it. And then the title is called House of Isla. Our strength was once in our numbers. Now we live in the shadows. Paz Vizsla. All right, let's go unlock this motherfucker. <laughs> Paz Vizsla. The only thing I don't like about these marquee events is you can't really tell how good the character is because you're in a squad. You know what I mean? Like, I don't feel like I learned anything about Paz, however you say his name, by using him in this event because I didn't. You know what I mean? <laughs> it was everyone else around him that made a difference. Like, okay, I learned that his second, his first special, if you will, is pretty decent. But otherwise, I don't know anything about him. It's like, all right, the mall lead really helped a lot in that first one. And then the second battle, was just, it was just a kind of a group effort. So that's one thing I don't like. And I feel like the whole point should be so you can really experiment with the character and learn about them and build strategies while it's like in a sandbox, so to speak. And... Didn't learn anything. But anyways, there he is. That was his event. Super easy, which is nice. Remember back when... Who was it? Who was the first one that they switched to the three-tier style? Was it... Was it um the new Rex? I don't know. I just remember people had a hard time with that. I personally didn't, which is surprising because I suck at strategy. But I think that was the one that your enemies were the Ewoks or something. And a lot of people had a hard time with that. I remember there was questions in the forums looking for strategy insights. And I was like, really? I don't remember that being that difficult then again i also don't remember the inquisitor event being that difficult i think i kind of breezed through that and um i see in my guild comments all the time people talking about oh man this is so hard i might have to get my character stronger they're already all r7s and i'm like what are you doing wrong then again i used eighth brother as lead maybe they just haven't discovered eighth brother eighth brother lead seemed to make a huge difference so i don't know but um yeah anyways weird tangent there all I'm saying is, here he is. Didn't really get to fully experience him, and I can't experience him uh, the legacy tier because he's only three star, and I'm not going to be paying money to even the five stars. So yeah. Um, as usual, thanks for checking this out, and until whatever comes next, which should be something pretty soon, most likely, because I've been very active on this channel recently. <laughs> um, I said, see ya.